Hi, this is Ben and Ross from Fennec Solar, and you're tuned in to Hit The Floor magazine. Hey guys, we're with Hit The Floor magazine here at Camp Festival. Can you please introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Ben. Uh, I'm Ross. And you're from? Uh, we are one half of Fennec Solar. <laughs> Where have the other half got to? Uh, they're sat over there, actually. <laughs> so they're, they're not... They're, 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 yeah, they're not that far away, yeah. So you've just arrived at Camp Festival. You're going to be playing the main stage. Excited? Oh, definitely. I mean, it's like it's definitely one of those places you kind of walk in and you think, "Wow, the site is is very nice." So um, yeah, we've we've, ne we've never done any of the festivals, not camp festival or festival. So and and festival is is a festival we've been to as punters yeah. quite a few times a few years ago. So yeah, we have, we've got high expectations of it. Yeah, it's, it's, it should be a good party. Are you doing festival as well. You're we are. Yeah. 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 We're doing the double. Yeah. So yeah, wow. we're excited about it. Yeah. Two Do B's. You know what, so you're playing festival for a plug. Oh, God, for I, uh, I, I think I think Friday. Friday. The Friday in the big top. Yeah. You're the Friday boys. Then. That's exactly <laughs> it. I think it's the best day. Like today, we're playing the Friday as well. I think I think that's when people are more most up for a party. So yeah, it's a good day to play. I so think. You also take lesson break. Yes. Went down very well. I heard. Is it in a dance tent or? Yeah. So we we played on the we played on the Friday uh, yeah. in 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 the uh, in the in the East dance tent, and it was actually we had a, a previous kind of three months off, so it was. It was kind of I don't know. It was it was a little bit daunting, really. It was quite scary, um, but but all in all, it went it went really well. It so was, was great. Just, sorry, three months off of touring or three months completely not that, working together. Oh no no, we were still working together, yeah. but um, we were kind of we couldn't really tour and stuff. So we um, so yeah, we just had some kind of downtime and working in our studio and, and things. So it was kind of our first show back. So it was it was really good. And you received rather well. Yeah, like we, we haven't, again we haven't played Glastonbury before, so um, we weren't really sure how it's going to go down. You never you never know what your worth is at Glastonbury. There's so much going on. So so yeah, and the tent was full to the back, so we were we were really happy. We were sort of, uh, so. are you going to hang around today as well? Because obviously Blondie's on later. Are you going to try and catch her set, or have you got a whiz off somewhere else? Um, no, no. I think I think I think a bit of whizzing, but not not straight away. I think yeah. we're going to hold out for as long as we can. We're playing we're playing another two festivals this weekend, but but this but weekend? yeah. What festivals are you playing? Um, we're doing we're doing one tomorrow called the Magic Lounge about which I hadn't heard before, but it looks really interesting. It's up in Skipton, and then we're doing uh, one called Kendall Calling. I've heard of Kendall Calling. Yeah, on the yeah. Sunday. So um, it's, a, it's a four festival weekend. We played last night as well. We played in Sweden, did a festival there. So it's yeah. So it's gonna be it's it's a four four festival run, but it's good. Like we love playing festivals, so it's not it's not a problem for us. Yeah, it's not difficult coming here and sitting down and having a beer having and, a few beers <laughs> and stuff. And you have someone to drive you from all the places you fly out. So you yeah, don't have to worry do, about yeah. drinking. That's exactly like it. Our tour manager is actually mine and Ross's cousin. Um, so oh, okay. he uh, yeah he spends a lot of time behind the wheel, but he loves it. Are you two brothers? Yes. Are, yeah. yeah. It's a family affair. This the Fennec Soda thing is all family. <laughs> <laughs> we are, yeah, we are. Matt, like <laughs> every family member's involved. <laughs> Who's the oldest brother? Me. Yeah. Yeah. Compliment, thank you. <laughs> four years, four years, a four year gap between us, yeah. Oh, I wouldn't have put you four years apart. <laughs> I was going to say twins. <laughs> no, okay. Yeah, well, could be. So, what else are you working on at the moment? You're running a competition, aren't you? Would you like to tell off your little Yeah, about that? that's actually kind of the first time we've really spoken about it. Yeah, the um, we're running a competition for a track on our album called Golden Sun, um, which. Uh, is actually quite a different track for us on the record and one we wanted to kind of release and actually we thought with this after kind of doing normal releases on iTunes and yeah. the typical kind of format um, we're doing running like a, a kind of for young directors a competition um, to to make a video and we're also just going to give the track away for free so I think we're kind of just trying to get the content out there and, and kind of give it give it out for free really so, so how will people be able to get hold of that track will they be able to download it from your website or? yeah um, the the technical. I'm not, sure I'm not sure if there's a date on it yet, but I think it's, it's going to be in the next next couple of months. So you'll be able to get the track for free. Uh, but if you want to get involved with the, yeah. with the actual um, 
making of the video and putting your video forward. What's the name of the website? Um, it's called Janeiro TV. But if you go if you go to our website, there's like links and stuff. There's news there. But um, for any kind of budding young film directors, then uh, yeah, come and make us a music video. You guys actually be judging it and choosing who wow. or is that more dangerous? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, yeah, we're completely involved with it. And I think I think music music videos are a hard thing to do. Um, I don't know. You always seem to. Pick, pick a treatment to make and then you watch it back and you don't really like it for some other reason but then but getting like, like a load of people to make it and people that you, you haven't spoken to at all before and you just get to watch it fresh from their ideas and not have anything invo not be involved with it it's no. going to be quite exciting I think so that's why I wanted to do it something you'd be looking for what would be like sort of oh well, well, well I, th I think I think the main thing is really not to set like any kind of boundaries or limitations whatsoever um, yeah. it was kind of like go as dark as you want go as kind of bright as you want it's like really yeah it's I think, I think we wanted an, we kind of said we wanted a kind of edgy video something that wasn't a kind of in the pop bracket really something that was kind of a bit bit left field so so hopefully we'll just get something that's a bit weird yeah hopefully that's what we're hoping for so it's an amazing opportunity have you got any new releases coming out beyond that a new album or anything on the cards or yeah i mean we're we're, we're, we're kind of heavily writing in between um just doing festivals the, yeah. doing festivals in the summer is quite good from a band's perspective because you get to go to the festival and have that experience but it kind of gives you like four days in between to kind of go back into your little cave and disappear yeah. four days and, and write music which is yeah. really good so we're kind of doing that a lot and um yeah when the next record will be out i'm not too sure hopefully next you know kind of next year early next yeah. year something like that so yeah we're writing it's good fun so and then once you release the new album i'm assuming you'll be taken to the road again for people that like yeah to i mean well actually like uh, we we had um, a tour in march that was rescheduled and actually is now um uh, after festival uh, it kind of starts the week after festival so we're doing a full uk tour so um again the tickets yeah yeah tickets website. on our website fenixsolar.co.uk we're playing catch up at the minute so i think we've got about 70 shows until christmas so oh it's gonna be good we're gonna be busy and then and then we'll have a little bit of time to record and then we're going to come back and do it again hopefully so amazing well yeah. last question yeah festival tips for our viewers have you got any because you've obviously done a lot of festivals in your time uh, well, i kind of don't want to give obvious ones but uh, like wellies is one thing we, yeah, we, well, we, 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 we didn't do on the first one we didn't do on the first one and, and then we, we paid for it so that's the first one yeah but you you say that's the first one but then lift up your foot oh yeah i've got slippers on so it's fine and it's lift fine. up my foot as well espadrilles right here because it's, it's the weather's okay <laughs> but i mean generally it normally rains in england so wellies um yeah um toiletries and nice kind of waterproof bags maybe wet wipes it's the usual things really usual but stuff, yeah it? and if you go to glastonbury sun cream <laughs> basically so you don't maybe end up amounts of alcohol obviously oh well listen guys thank you very much for your time good no luck worries. with your set we'll be coming to watch it in a ah, minute. thank you cool. thank you very much, cool. thank you very much. Thank you.